Hello, you watching this video on the other side. I'm not a doctor, I'm here to teach you English. I'm here to make you think in English. I'm here to show you how I learned this language and this is the way you will learn also. All right, in this video, we will be learning English by studying a little of the heart, a hollow muscular organ located in the thoracic cavity. It will, it will be an anatomy study. All right, it's a hollow muscular organ located in the thoracic cavity, in the thoracic cavity hollow. It has space for blood to come in and out, right, of the heart, to come in, to come in and out, out of the heart, right? The heart has four chambers, two at the top, at the bottom, and two on top. The bottom ones are called ventricles, and the top, and the ones on top, are called atria, the left ventricle, the left atrium, the right ventricle, the right atrium. Four chambers, one, two, three, four, right? Left ventricle, left atrium, right ventricle, right, right ventricle, right atrium. The left ventricle has a thick muscular wall. The right ventricle has a thin muscular wall. Even though the right ventricle looks bigger than the left ventricle, they are equal in size. All right, the left ventricle has a thick muscular wall. Thick muscular wall. The right ventricle has a thin muscular wall. Even though the right ventricle, right, looks bigger than the left ventricle, they are equal, equal in size. Size right ventricle, size left ventricle, right? They are equal in size. And the left ventricle has a thick wall because it is pumping blood all around the body into the systemic circulation. The left ventricle has a thick wall because it is pumping, pumping, it is pumping blood, it is pumping blood all around the body, the body into the systemic circulation. So the blood pumped from the left ventricle goes up to your ears, down to your toes, up to your brain. This requires a high pumping pressure, which is done with a large muscle on the left side. It is a greater distance covered. It is a greater distance covered than the one by the blood pumped from the right ventricle, right? So the blood pumped from the left ventricle goes up to your ears, down to your toes, up to your brains, to your brain, right? This requires a high pumping pressure, high pumping pressure which is done with a large muscle on the left side, on the left side. It is greater, it is a greater distance, right? A greater distance covered, covered, right? Then the one by the blood pumped from the right ventricle. The right ventricle only pumps blood to the lungs, and the distance from the heart to the lungs is lesser, which requires less pressure 
to send blood to the lungs in normal conditions. So the right ventricle, the right ventricle only pump only pumps blood to the lungs, to the lungs, right? To the lungs. And the distance from the heart to the lungs is lesser, right? It's closer. It's closer. The lungs are closer to the heart, right? This requires, which requires less pressure, less pressure to send blood to the lungs, to send blood to the lungs. Remember, the heart, the, the heart has four chambers, two at the bottom and two on top. It also has four valves. One of them protects the aorta, artery, a large vessel connected to the left ventricle and extends throughout the heart, taking blood out of it. This valve points up the way. So the heart has four chambers, right? One, two, three, four chambers. Two at the bottom, two at the bottom, and two on top, two on top. It also has four valves, one valve, two valves, three, four valves. One of them protects the aorta. One of them protects the aorta artery, right? The aorta artery. A large vessel, this is a large vessel, right? We have artery and we have veins. Both of them are vessels, right? These valves points up the way. This valve points up the way, protecting the outer artery. Vessels, artery, and veins. Between the left ventricle and the chamber on top, there is another valve, and this one points down the way, points down the way. It opens down the way. In other words, it moves down to open and up to close. It opens down the way between the left ventricle and the chamber on top, the left ventricle and the chamber on top, the chamber on top, there is another valve. There is another valve. Remember, we have this aortic valve and we have this other valve, valve, right? This one is pointing down the way. This one is pointing down the way. It, open, it, it opens down the way. It moves down to open and close, and up to close, down to open, up to close. So the left ventricle has two valves. One is located at the initial aorta and works to protect it. The other one separates the left ventricle from the superior chamber called the atrium. It is an atrioventricular valve. It is an, an atrioventricular valve, right? So the left ventricle has two valves two valves, one located at the initial aorta and works to protect it. The other one separates the left ventricle from the superior, superior chamber. So two valves, one between the ventricle and the left atrium, right? The other one here, protecting the aorta, right? The top chambers of the heart have thinner muscular wall and the end connected to the left atrium, there are four large veins bringing blood into this chamber. The top chambers of the heart have thinner muscular walls thinner muscular walls, right? Then 
the ventricles, right? They have a large, larger, right? Larger muscular wall, larger muscular wall compared to the atrium, to the atrium right atrium and the left atrium both are atria right plural so this muscular wall here these right are larger thicker thicker than the walls the atria walls right the atria walls the atrioventricular valve has two cusps and because of these two cusps it is also called the bicuspid valve the proper name is the mitral valve the atrioventricular valve has two cusps two cusps two cusps and because of these two cusps, it's also called bicuspid valve. The proper name is mitral valve. The mitral valve. So the left ventricle has two valves, the mitral valve and the valve protecting the aorta, the aortic valve also called the semilunar valve because of its look it looks like half a moon right so the left ventricle has two valves two valves one two valves and the also called two valves the mitral valve the mitral valve which is between the left atrium and the left ventricle and the aortic valve also called semilunar valve right because of its look it looks like a same a half a moon that's what they say right the doctors say the scientists right the blood is pumped out of the heart from the left ventricle pass through this valve into the aorta and goes to the systemic circulation the blood is pumped out of the heart from the left ventricle out of the heart from the left ventricle is pumped from the left ventricle out of the heart and goes to the systemic circulation The four veins connected to the left atrium are pulmonary veins, pulmonary veins. Arteries are vessels carrying blood away from the heart. Veins are vessels carrying blood toward the heart. So the pulmonary veins carry blood from the lungs toward the heart. All right, four veins, four veins, four veins connected to the left atrium, connected to the left atrium. These veins, these veins, these veins are called pulmonary veins, pulmonary veins. And they are carrying blood from the lungs, from the lungs, from the lungs, toward the heart toward the heart right or to the heart or toward the heart or to the heart right and the arteries are vessels carrying blood away from the heart remember the the arteries are are vessels carrying blood out of the heart out of the heart on the right side of the heart the same way has a valve pointing up the way separating the ventricle from a large arterial vessel that divides into two each branch of this vessel carries blood toward the lungs from the heart so this vessel is the pulmonary artery 
So on the right side of the heart, the same way has a valve pointing up the way, the same way, right? There is a valve, the same way of the, of the left ventricle, right? Has a valve pointing up the way, the same way, pointing out, uh, up the way, carrying blood, carrying blood out of the heart to the lungs or towards the lung, right? Toward the lungs or towards the lung, depends if you are speaking British English, we, we, we often say towards, right? Towards. American English prefer use toward, without the S, toward the lungs. So each branch, each branch is carrying, is carrying blood toward the lungs. The right side valve that separates the atrium from the ventricle is pointing down the way. It has three cusps. It's called a tricuspid valve. Even though both arterial valves have three cusps, the pulmonary and the, and the aortic, only the one that separates the ventricle from the atrium is called the tricuspid vein, or valve, right? It's called the tricuspid valve, right? Even though both arterial valves, the aortic valve here and the pulmonary valve have three cusps, they have three cusps, right? Here, three cusps, this is the, the aortic, right? Only, only the valve between the right ventricle and the left and the right atrium has, it's called tricuspid valve. It's called tricuspid valve, right? There are two large vessels connected to the right atrium. One coming from the bottom part of the body and the other one coming from above. The, the segment of this vessel coming from above, it's called superior. And the segment coming from the bottom part of the body is called inferior, right? We had, there are two large vessels connected to the right atrium, to the right atrium, right? One coming from the bottom part of the body, from the, bo from the bottom part of the body, and the other one's coming from above, it's coming from above. The one coming from the bottom, it's called inferior, and the one coming from above, superior. This vessel is the largest, largest vein in the body, and it is called vena cava. Therefore, we have the superior vena cava, carrying blood from the top half of the body. And we have the inferior vena cava, draining blood from the bottom half of the body, both toward the heart, to the right atrium. This vessel, this vessel is the largest vein in the body. It's the largest vein in the body. It is called vena cava. Therefore, we have the superior vena cava, right? Carrying blood from the top half of the body, from the top half of the body. And we have the inferior vena cava draining blood from the bottom half of the body, right? Both toward the heart, toward the right atrium, toward the right atrium. All right. Thank you. This will continue on the next week. See you then.
Hey, leave your like there. Subscribe to our channel. You are watching to the end, all right? Subscribe our channel. Thank you.